Hey guys, Cody Schwabe here, and today I'd like to explain a painting that I did that I actually don't have a name for, um, but it was a negative space painting, and what that is is I actually just recently kind of learned how to do these paintings, and I did it, and it actually turned out really cool. So, unfortunately, of course, the ones that I really like, um, I didn't record on how I did it because it was an accident, but it turned out good, so hopefully I can kind of explain how I did it and I'm gonna show you this painting now. So let me flip it over. Uh, this is the painting here. Uh, you can see that it is actually a really phenomenal painting. Now, the only part I don't like is this, um, so I'll probably paint over that white. Um, but as far as the rest of it goes, like, this is it, dude. Like, do you see the shine on this? It looks almost like glass, right? Um, and that's the whole painting. Now this is actually painted white and you can't, like, you, you don't hear my finger running across it because that's paint. Now if you look, there's some low points and you can, you can, you can actually see the canvas. So this is white paint, this is actually canvas and I might, might go through and kind of fill this in so it's even, but anyway. Uh, so this is the painting and again, I am actually really stoked with it. Um, so let me kind of explain how I did this. Um, I had recently seen a video about the negative space and flip and drag um, technique, and I didn't know what that was. So basically what it is is negative space is you fill that background with one solid color. Okay, so what I did was I took my white paint. Don Edwards, as always. Um, I took my paint and I covered the entire canvas with white paint like from edge to edge filled it up now I used the paint without watering it down that was a huge mistake to me um, again I'm new at this um, so you want the paint not super runny as in like dripping but runny enough or you know smooth enough that it if you tilt it it moves right you don't want to have to like shake it in order to get it to move that's the problem I have with this painting so anyway, you you basically put your background color across the entire canvas. Um, so again, I used white um, and you want it a little runny. I actually just put the paint right on there and spread it out. Mistake. I should have wet it down a little bit to kind of make it move a little bit. But again, it turned out great. So not complaining. Uh, okay, so this this piece, the main piece here is actually black white and gold now of course i use black and white here um, my typical gloss enamel but this is actually the gold i used it's a uh, art mines it's uh i actually got it from michael's um because i um i was looking for like a a gold metallic from like a house paint but it is really hard to find i don't know if they just stopped making them um all together or it wasn't a popular sell. I've heard that it didn't sell very well, so they stopped making it. That's probably the case. Um, so I was looking for, I've actually been looking for a metallic gold for a while, and I found this Art Mines um, paint, which I had actually used. I don't think I have the container anymore. Um, anyway, um, I had actually used their paint before, and I wasn't, uh, for what I do, I didn't necessarily like the paint itself, but that gold is actually really good. You can kind of see like the way that it turned out. So let's get on to the uh, the method here. So I took a cup, it was actually a solo cup, not one of these big ones, um, but I don't see, oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, just one of these regular cups, right? Um, and filled it with the black and then a little, just a little bit of white, more black and then gold. Um, so I just kind of layered it in the cup here. So it was black and then a little bit of white, black and then gold. And then I took, you know, the back of a, of a paintbrush and stirred it just a little bit, just swirled it a little bit, um, and then poured it, like just took the cup, put it upside down, and then dragged it across and poured it out. And then once it was on the actual canvas, I just kind of tilted the canvas um, to get it to move. And that's really all that this painting was. Now, if it had moved a little easier, um, I think it probably would have spread out a little more. 
and kind of filled out the painting. But overall, it still turned out really good. So my recommendation to you is no matter really what kind of paint you use, unless it's really fluid already, um, if you use just, if you use the house paint, if you use, uh, you know, whatever this metallic is, I didn't add any water. Any, all of the paint that I poured in here for the actual piece, I did not add water to. Um, I would recommend making it a little liquidy. So probably pouring each color into its own cup, just, just a tiny bit of water, just to break it up so that, so that when you, you know, move the cup, you can see it moving. You don't have to like wait, right? So as soon as you move it, it moves. But again, not a lot of water, just slowly add just a tiny bit. What I generally do is I'll use a, I'll use like this spray bottle and I'll spray it a few times. Like I'll spray the water and then mix it and see how it is and then spray. But again, this one I didn't actually add water to the paint. I was kind of just curious on how it worked and did it and that actually turned out really good. Uh, so that's basically it. Um, so just to recap, it is a solid color across the back, right? Solid color across the entire canvas. Um, so you can, you know, you can spread it out with your hands, you can spread it out with a brush, you can just pour, you know, pour it on here and kind of tilt it until the whole canvas is, is, uh, encased in that one color. And then you take, you put the rest of your colors that you actually want the painting to be in the cup. You fill the cup with the colors, you kind of stack the colors, you swirl them just a little bit to kind of mix the colors and break them up, but you don't want the colors to... You want them to kind of overlap, but you don't want them to mix into another color. And this, that's what you want. Um, so then once you have it, you take it, you just flip it upside down. You can do like a design with it. You can just do a straight kind of across the thing. It doesn't really matter. As you're kind of going across, you're slowly lifting the cup and then you just pull it off. And then once you have kind of the paint in the middle, then you can pick it up and tilt it and and that's it and that's how you do it so that's pretty much it uh for this negative space painting again i don't have a uh, a name for it but it actually looks really good i'm really impressed with it um so yeah that's how i did this painting again unfortunately i didn't have it on camera but at least that gives you kind of an idea of how to do one of these really nice very simple very awesome looking paintings um thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in another video